Yo, yo. What's up, guys? Frankie Slauson here. I'll get Frankie Slauson to a video. I'm going to try to get some good lighting here. If I can. Try to get center where there is good lighting. Anyway. Because right now you can barely see me. Oh. Yeah, sorry for these videos being so late and stuff, you know. I just... It's just been... Well... It's not really the fact that I've really been busy, because I haven't really been that busy. Now you can see me. Just the fact that I, you know, I'm kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of nervous about, you know, tomorrow. You know, it's for those who, who have been following the videos that know me pretty good, uh, t tomorrow morning actually is my, is the day of my interview that I have. Uh, I, I've got called back. Actually, I called the guy who, uh, who runs the hotel over there. And he told me that he would like to meet with me, you know, on Monday. Well, I had my pick on either Friday or Monday. And I picked Monday just because, you know, all, the, all our vehicles were being used at the time. So I didn't have a vehicle to, to get me back to Rosa. So, yeah, I'm looking for, forward to uh, tomorrow. I just hope everything goes good. You know, I hope the guy likes me and, and hope, uh, I don't know, I mean, just hope that it goes well, you know, because this guy could really, he could really make or break me, I guess. I mean, it's not, the fact is, too, I, I don't want to, you know, after all the effort that I've been putting in to, to try to get this job, and even the fact that since I'll be coming tomorrow for the interview, that should prove enough to the, to the, the, the guy in charge that this is how bad I really want it, you know. If I didn't care about, you know, working for this place or whatever, uh, I wouldn't have even bothered to even sign an application. But I did all these things because I want I, I need the job and I want to work. And he told me there wasn't anything available right now, but this interview is mostly to see what I'm qualified at and see where he might be able to put me. You know, when they are when there is an opening. So I still won't be working yet, but I will be I will, this will determine my future of employment anyway. Uh, so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully it works out. I mean, this I've been thinking about this all day, as well as uh, you know, yes, even though it being SummerSlam Sunday, uh, but I've been thinking about that too, I suppose. But I've been thinking about this a lot more, just because of the fact that I, you know, I really, really want this, and you know, the pay starts out pretty good, and you know, I like to start making some of my own money, other than just doing it by mowing grass and crap like that, because that gets kind of old after a while. And I don't live in a, I live in an area where you know, we, we get the four seasons of fall, or spring, summer, fall, and winter. If it wasn't for that, if it was just spring and summer and fall, you know, or just spring and summer, or just summer year-round, I'd probably have a mowing job for for as long as I wanted it. But when winter time comes, or when it gets around this time of year, or September or October or whatever, you know, things start winding down a little bit, and... Sure, there's money to rake leaves and stuff, but I'm just sick of doing yard work. I mean, come on. I'm a guy who's on the who who's a former DJ that used to interview celebrities. You know, I'm not trying to think more highly of myself than I should, but I'm just saying, you know. The proof is in the pudding, is what I say. But anyway, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. Uh, they're bound to get better. This week, uh, uh, Thursday, August 18th, is my three-year anniversary. I celebrate three years of being on YouTube. Now that that says something because you know the fact is, and, and uh, some people can differ. Some people can say what they want about me, but do do it all. Whether you know you like me or you hated me or whatever, I never, I never quit. Okay, I never found it possible to ever delete my channel. And start over and over and over like like some people that I know, you know. You gotta realize that this is just the internet. It's not like nobody's gonna come track you down in real life. If somebody ch tries to do that, then they got no fucking personality or or a lot of time on their hands or something. There's so many people out there that are so worried about what the internet really has to say, but what the public internet has to say. People that are just on, on their computer or on their mobile phone or whatever. You know, either with you or against you. And I've had that, I've dealt with that a lot in the almost three years that I've been with YouTube. And and the thing is, no matter what happens, 
I'm never gonna close my channel down. I don't, no matter what. Even if I don't make, you know, even if I stop making videos for like two or three months, I would still come back and make a video. As long as I have a, a web or a camera, and a, and, a, and a computer and internet connection and all that stuff, and, and and the love for video, which I think I'll have for the rest of my life, I will always, always, always do stuff on YouTube. As long as YouTube's around, I will never, ever think about ever deleting my channel. I want to see it grow, you know. I want to see it become successful. I don't want it to be a failure because there's been a lot of things in my life that have that I've tried that have been successful but then failed. This is not one of those things. This is something that I take more with pride and passion other than just being, you know, being known for being on the radio and all that stuff. There comes a time in every person's life where they got to, you know, where they got to learn to grow up and just accept what they have to accept. Uh, but I, I won't put up with it, you know. I, I, you know, people who, you know, like I said, whether you love me or you hate me, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to be on YouTube. I'm still going to have my subscribers, whether they're a lot or they're not. And I'm still going to have people that comment or, or not or, or just, you know, watch the videos and not say nothing or, or watch them and comment after every video that I put up. So even though I have, without, you know, almost 2,000 subscribers, I don't really get that much video feedback, which I would love to get more of. But, you know, whatever. I mean, like I said, the proof is there that things are going pretty good. So, you know, like I said, I ain't going to give up. So, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for another great Frankie Slauson Show video.